Dr. Doreen Grand is the Dr. Doreen is an expert in autism. Doreen Grand Dr. Grand Pichet. Dr. Doreen Grand Dr. Doreen Grand is a visionary in the field of autism. Now you can ask her questions on Ask Dr. Doreen. And of course, this is a great time for me to read what the free offerings are from Skills and IBT this week. And you're not going to believe it's like they've got a Vulcan mind meld with you. And we didn't know that this was I, until I opened this just now. Okay. So um, each week, Skills and IBT, the Institute for Behavioral Training, offer free things and they send me an email. This mm -hmm. week, for our ABA parents and, uh, and guardians, they are offering a free IBT parent e-learning course. And the topic this week that's free is parent tackling autism as a family, which I think is going to be super helpful for a lot of you. I'm going to read the whole list and then I'm going to give you the way that you get these free offerings. So for parents, it's tackling autism as a family. And keep in mind, you can, uh, anyone can uh, see any of these. So for the educator community, though, they're offering uh, the free IBT educator e-learning module. Are you ready for this? Educator, the social environment. How awesome is that? That's and that's available. Isn't that, that's available to educators at no charge, but you know, parents are always educators. So you might want to check that out. They are continuing to offer their RBT 2.0 training course. That's free for parents on a case by case basis. You'll have to reach out and ask specifically for it. That's over a $400 value. And they're giving that for free on a case by case basis. Get your pencil ready for the phone number. In addition, they will continue to offer 10% discount on all skills products for anyone that refers to us and says uh, that they watch Autism Live or you say, Shannon sent me and I want the friends and family program. That's my little joke, but they appreciate it. Uh, so here's the phone number for all of that. 877-975-4559. Again, that's 877 877- nine seven five four five five nine if you are watching internationally as i know so many of you do um you can send the email directly to me at s dot penrod at autism hyphen live dot com and i will forward it to the appropriate people over at skills and ibt but how great is that that this week it's actually about something social in the classroom, which I love. Amazing. I think that we had the same thing happen last week. They gave us something that was right on topic. Amazing. Yeah, right on topic. Vulcan mind meld. It's so good. Uh, I want you to know that we asked the question of the parent about the, the, the medicine that she said, and we didn't know what that was. And they said it's a tablet form of melatonin. Right. Um, so, yeah. I mean, melatonin is good for helping one fall asleep. It's not so good for maintaining sleep. Uh, it generally wakes people up about after four hours or so. But that, that aside, uh, you really should figure out the underlying issue, which seems to be something with her tummy. And I can't stress how important that is. Okay. I have another question that came in in the night. Um, what tips do you have uh, to give a neurodiverse couple really struggling with this pandemic? My husband has autism and isn't coping well with this pandemic. He is constantly irritable and we fight constantly. Yeah. My friend, if I could answer that question. <laughs> If I had a dime for every time, no. There are, I mean, you know, I'll be honest, this pandemic is going on too long. There are so many people that have done their very best to keep it together since March, and things are falling apart now because nobody expected it to be going on this long. I mean, you know, we are, uh, human beings are, are social beings, and there's no question that, uh, if you keep us in hibernation for a year, everybody's going to start falling apart. That's just the nature of, of who we are. So um, I'm, it, it is very, very difficult. I guess it, I, don't, I'm, you know, I don't know anything at all about your husband. I would recommend that um, it might be helpful for the two of you to talk to a marriage family counselor 
um, and who can help give you some guidance on, you know, if it was me, I would be asking uh, your husband to kind of break it down in terms of what are the things that are disturbing him about the pandemic, and then to help rationalize them in some way, and then to help give some uh, objective end to this whole thing. Because I think what we all, the, those, those of us who can handle it, I guess, or who are tolerating the pandemic, uh, are holding on to the hope that things will get better. Even though every time you turn on the news, things are getting worse, we all still hold on to the hope that they will get better. And I think, uh, you know, that has to be part of the solution for him, uh, that he has some motivation or hope for the future. Um, we do happen to have a very, very good uh, licensed marriage family counselor who knows all about autism. And his name is Vince Redmond. And uh, Shannon, if you email Shannon directly, I'm sure Shannon can connect you. Vince has been with me at CARD for over, I would say almost, what is it, 25 years or so. So he is extremely experienced in behavior analysis and ABA and it, he knows a, a lot about autism and he is an LMFT. Somebody just wrote in and said that there is an app for those oh. with ASD to make friends um, call, uh, called with others. Uh, it's, and it's, you can make friends with people around the world. It's called Making Authentic Friendships or MAF, M-A-F, M-A-F, excuse me. It was featured on the Today Show in March 2020. Um, it's to help people with special needs to connect. Oh, so what a wonderful resource for people to, to check out and see if they can, um, uh, I, we, I don't know it. Um, so I have no idea, but check it out and see what it is and, and see if that's something that will help you. Uh, I still like the idea of a, of a, a, a someone who's a matchmaker yeah. for people on the, uh, with ASD. I'm, I'm still yeah. loving this. Um, I think I said, I think I said Yeti, but I think it's Yenta. Yenta, you said Yenta. Oh, I said Yenta, okay. Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching Autism Live. To subscribe, click here. And if you'd like to check out some more of our videos, click here.